My name is Lars Schepler. I uh, run a business called Mamima Yachts, a train, uh, training center for wild boar dogs. We train uh, dogs like this, uh, the Swedish moose dog, also called the Jimt dog, Jimt uh, We do it uh, on an area in Östergötland in Sweden. And uh, we train approximately about 800 to 1,000 dogs a year. And uh, the purpose with this is for, for getting more dogs uh, ready for the wild boars in, in Scandinavia, especially in Sweden, of course, uh, where we have our, our business. So, and it's, it's very important that you train the dogs uh, for the wild boars to make them mentally ready for it. You need the dog protection uh, because the wild boars will, uh, will attack the dogs in some point of view. A lot of uh, dogs will be, be chasing, let's say, roe deer, fallow deers, uh, red deers, for instance, and they will never stop. They will never get uh, a conflict with those type of animals because they will just be running. The wild boars will stop uh, after a while, some of them anyway. Uh, and as soon as they do that, there could be a conflict, depending on how the dog reacts. And, but we are trying to learn the dogs. Uh, we can learn them not to attack the wild boar, of course, but we can uh, make them better by training them, and uh, but we will always try to have a, uh, uh, some security about the dogs, and because it's a hard work to get a good wild boar dog and just lose him because of one instance uh, with a combat with a wild boar will be terrifying. I think it's it's so nice when you're out in the forest. It's it's fantastic just to see the dog and see all the job you've done. And of course, when I go out in the forest, just just for going with my dog, I want to shoot something for the dog, and that's why the dog gives me that possibility. I want to shoot a wild boar when I go out. I want to shoot a moose when I go out. And without the dog, uh, yeah, well, I won't succeed. Uh, if I have the dog, it'll be the dog and I. And. Uh, if you shoot a big, a too big animal, you need to call a friend to get it out of the forest, but that's after the shot. <laughs> it's very important that they are covered here so you don't get an injury here, because a lot of the young wild boars, they have, they have teeth in the bottom jaw that, that do like this. And a lot of, maybe not this type of dog, because they're very fast, they move away very quickly when the attack comes from wild boars. But you have other type of uh, dogs that are driven dogs or used for as a smaller, you mean smaller dogs, uh, they maybe are very close to the wild boars and the wild boar attack them very fast. And in that point of view, sometimes they, they won't be able to get away. And also in a cover like this, uh, smaller dogs can have a little bit of problem. Not that they're not as good to wild boars, not what I'm saying, but uh, they have, they're different type of dogs. So. But this here is very good, they're protected in the front here. And of course, at the stomach region is very important. Mm -hmm.